I'll have to start with a preemptive strike against the true crime fans and say this video isn't about the serial killer Roger Stafford. This is about rumblin' Roger Stafford, who was an ESPN boxing regular in the early 1980s. Uh, here he is taking on Kevin Howard in a battle between two Philadelphia fighters. Uh, Stafford is a bit older than Howard here. He's 26 to Howard's 20, and he's a lot more experienced in the game despite having a late start in the sport. Uh, Stafford wasn't originally from Philadelphia. He was raised in Lorain, Ohio, where he was a high school wrestling champion. Uh, he joined the Marines and once there became a teammate of Leon Spinks, befriending both brothers. Uh, Stafford later joined Michael in Philadelphia, where he began his boxing career. Uh, he became the ESPN welterweight champion, and after this bout, he upset former champion Pepino Cuevas before signing for a fight against Sugar Ray Leonard. This came after Leonard's title defense against Bruce Finch, a boxer that Stafford described as, quote, bewitched, behooved, and bewildered. And Stafford was confident that he would be the one to end Sugar Ray Leonard's uh, title reign. But his shot at the big time was canceled after Leonard was diagnosed with a detached retina, and Stafford's career went downhill after that disappointment. Uh, he lost a decision to Milton McCrory, was knocked out by Donald Curry, and ended his career with a stoppage loss to Lloyd Hunnigan. Now, Stafford passed away in 2016 at the age of 62 after a short battle with cancer. Uh, meanwhile, Kevin the Spoiler Howard did get a fight with Sugar Ray Leonard and is most famous for decking Leonard in the fourth round of their encounter. Uh, Leonard got up to stop him in the ninth, a uh, stoppage that many saw as premature. Howard trained under Frank Ward since he was 15, but he suffered from discipline issues throughout his career. He didn't like to train, and he blew up in weight between fights. Uh, he ended his career as cannon fodder for up-and-comers like uh, Curtis Summit, Robert Hines, and he retired after being stopped in seven rounds by Simon Brown in 1986. So this is the first of two meetings between Stafford and Howard. It's a good mesh of styles between a boxer and a slugger. Uh, both fighters have good techniques that were born out of the gyms of North Philadelphia. So it's a good scrap that isn't on YouTube anywhere, so I hope you enjoy. Bye. My, my plan is on beating this fight is by aggressiveness. And if it come a knockout, it just be a knockout. I'm not trying to make none. I'm just trying to win. That's all I have to say. I'm in the best shape of my life for this fight. I don't know much about Kevin Howard, but my strategy in this fight is I'm going to use my jab, move around a couple of rounds, see where he's coming from, and take the fight from there. I doubt the fight will go five or six rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce the principals for this next bout, with us this evening in attendance, a leading heavyweight contender out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's call up Timmy Witherspoon. Timmy Witherspoon. Come on up, Timmy. Come on up. He's a leading heavyweight contender, ladies and gentlemen. Timmy Witherspoon out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Timmy Witherspoon, what a future he has. And also, ladies and gentlemen, one man we must not forget. He is the state of New Jersey. He has done so much for the boxing world here in the state of New Jersey and many other great things. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the former heavyweight champion of the world and now the boxing commissioner of the state of New Jersey, Ladies and gentlemen, none other than the champ himself, Jersey Joe Walcott. Come up, Joe. Come on up, Joe. Come on. What a great man. Ladies and gentlemen, let's really give it for him. Let's hear it. One more time for the champ, Jersey Joe Walker. <laughs> Referee Rudy Battle brings them to the center of the ring. Let's listen to the introduction. I want a clean break at all times. A foul 
could cost you the round. Now, in the event of a knockdown, the boxer is standing will go to the farthest neutral corner and remain there until I signal to continue. The mandatory eight count is in effect. Watch your low blows and watch your holding your head. Any questions? I want a clean fight and good luck to both of you. Shake hands. And out comes Kevin Howard, ready to rumble quickly. He is on Roger Stafford quickly. Sal, if, if stare outs can win fights, then Kevin Howard is going to win this fight because Roger Stafford didn't even look him in the eyes and Howard looked right through him. Howard with a record of 10 victories, no defeats, one draw, six knockouts. This uh, Philadelphia welterweight weighed in today at 145 and a half. Roger Stafford, 16, one and one with seven knockouts, also from Philadelphia. He tipped the scales at 144 and a half. Stafford digs a right hand to the stomach of Kevin Howard. From what I've seen of Roger Stafford, he's a very slow starter. He likes to move and feel you out, but sometimes he takes some pretty heavy shots while he's doing it. That's what happened against Kenny Kroom in the final. Kroom hit him with the right hand the first round, and Stafford just about weathered the storm. I just thought about fought those three minutes and came back and beat Kroom down the stretch. I thought he was out of there on that first round. Roger Stafford in the white trunks with the red stripe is an accomplished boxer. He has a sense of, of himself in that ring. He has a lot of presence. He knows exactly where he is at all times. You'll see him dance, you'll see him slug. He is in a very entertaining fighter because he really has a lot of savvy. Meanwhile, Kevin Howard is a big banger. We're halfway through round number one. Kevin Howard has never lost pro or amateur. He has 10 wins as a professional. He had 20 wins as an amateur. He doesn't know what it's like to taste defeat, and that could help him here tonight. Actually, these uh, two welterweights meeting like freight trains here in Atlantic City because their records are strong ones. Eventually, they had to meet any way you want. A left and a right by Stafford, and that was lightning quick. Stafford told me before the fight, he said, I know that this guy's going to want to slug with me. So what I'm going to do, I ain't going to box on his turn. I'm going to box with him. I'm going to box when he wants to slug. I'm going to slug when he wants to box. So far, Stafford is keeping Kevin Howard away with a, a stinging left jab. Very intriguing three minutes here in the opening round. Both these guys have dug some tremendous right hands for the to the side, like the kidney area. Now, who would you give that round to? Wow. A tough round to judge. Uh, Randy and I here at ringside uh, will uh, mark our cards unofficially. In uh, the state of New Jersey, the scoring is done by rounds. There's a supplemental five-point system in the event of a draw. We will use the five-point system. Very interesting fight. Round two, scheduled for 10. The winner of this fight will certainly appear in so many rings around the country. Now, uh, Kevin Howard trying to establish his jab against Roger Stafford. And he just scored with two solid ones. Stafford with a jab of his own. Sometimes you don't have to score with that solid a jab. You, it can be a pesky kind of jab to upset the other guy and not let him see that right hand coming behind it. Stafford counter punch with a left hook, and he dug another left hook to the body of Kevin Howard. Stafford in the red trim, Howard in the blue trim. Right hand by Stafford, another right hand by Stafford. Those two punches by Stafford were blocked by Howard. Remember how Kevin Howard rushed out at the opening bell? Roger Stafford, very calm and cool, is now fighting him from a distance, picking apart now with uh, jabs, occasionally throwing a right hand. But Stafford's making his living tonight with his left hand. That was a heavy jab by Stafford. Notice the lateral movement by Stafford. That's a sign of an accomplished boxer. Stafford with a lead right. Kevin Howard missed with his right hand. And Howard stunned Stafford with a right hand. Howard with a left hand. Howard with a right hand. Howard with a right uppercut. And suddenly Kevin Howard is raining blows on Roger Stafford. A right hand by Howard. Stafford hanging in there and counterpunching. But here in round number 
number two, Kevin Howard, is starting to unload. I don't know what's keeping Kevin Howard up. Rather, rather Roger Stafford, he's getting hit hard. Less than 30 seconds to go in the round. Roger Stafford was having his way, but Kevin Howard hurt him with the right hand, followed with the left hook, and it has been mostly Howard now in the last minute. A right hand by Howard. How many times do we see Roger Stafford get hurt and then come back again? He's like a welterweight Matthew Saad Muhammad. Stafford with a right hand. Howard with a right hand. What a round. A left-right combination by Stafford just before the bell. ESPN is what it is. Keep it where it is. Here we go. So here we are in round three, scheduled for 10. Stafford was uh, the better boxer, but Howard hurt him with that right hand and really dominated down the stretch of round number two. So here we have the boxer in the red trim against the slugger in the blue trim. The ESPN welterweight champion just took a right lead on the chin, comes back with a right cross. Stafford knows that despite the fact that he won that title, he can't afford a defeat tonight against Howard. A left hook by Howard, left hook by Stafford. Just when you feel the momentum might be going to Kevin Howard, Roger Stafford comes right back with a serious combination. Right hand by Stafford. Halfway through the round. Kevin Howard had to get a lot more confidence because of what happened at the end of the previous round. There's a headbutt, and uh, that was a bad one. Kevin Howard is complaining. He went back to the center of the ring and complained to the referee, Rudy Battle. Roger Stafford loves to shoot pools. He loves to play basketball, but he said, my favorite sport in the world is what I'm doing right now. Coming down the uh, stretch of this round. A right hand by Stafford just before the bell. Kevin Howard just mocks him with his glove, and he says, nothing. Back to the center of the ring. Back live, round four, scheduled for 10. And it is a war between these two welterweights. Kevin, the spoiler Howard, in the blue trim. Roger Stafford in the red trim. I've seen butts that have been done on purpose before. That one was totally accidental. They were coming forward at the same time with their heads down. No knockdowns, no cuts. The left hook, but they want it to be set up with a right to the kidney. <laughs> right hand by Howard. That smacked Stafford on the left side of his face. Stafford is making a mistake if he goes to the rope. He's got to get out of there. He can't stand it with a slugger like this. Kevin Howard trying to size up Stafford. Stafford on his toes, looking to box. There's a left by Stafford as he caught Howard moving in. Now, maybe that's his ploy. If that's his ploy, okay, but somehow I don't think it is. His fight is right there in the middle of the ring. Halfway through the round. Kevin Howard is getting stronger and better as this fight gets older. Now Stafford trying to establish that jab, but a crunching right cross by Kevin Howard. There's a left hook by Stafford. Less than 30 seconds to go. I don't think Stafford has hurt Howard. However, I think that Howard has stunned Stafford. Right hand by Stafford, but look at Howard. He's right there. Howard came right back after taking a tremendous right hand on the front. Countering right hand by Howard after a miss by Stafford. That's a heavy blow to the stomach by Howard. Howard with a right cross. Kevin Howard with three very good minutes of work. Stafford goes back to his corner and says, hey, I think I got a problem here. We're back in the corner of Kevin Howard, and uh, he just got a message from uh, his key man. The message he got was from a guy I haven't seen him for about 12 years now. His name is Forrest Ward. He was a great fighter back in the 1960s, a heavyweight Pan-American Games champion, and all of a sudden I was surprised to see Forrest Ward work in the corner. How good to see him again. Did you hear what Ward was telling him? He said, you gotta keep the pressure on him, you gotta lock those elbows and really snap the punches in there, and work the body a little bit more than you've been doing. This is round five, scheduled for ten between these two welterweights. 
Kevin Howard in the blue trim started to take over in that last round. It was not a good round for Stafford. We've been talking about momentum, and I think the momentum now has really swung to Howard. Let's see if he can keep it that way. They want Howard to use more body blows. So far, Stafford is pecking away with his jab, trying to keep his distance from Kevin Howard. There's those body blows. There's the left of the body, the left of the head, all by Howard. They're not just body blows, they're wrecking balls when they come in there. <laughs> Howard with a right hand. Howard with a left uppercut. Another left uppercut. Howard with a left hook. And Kevin Howard is doing some damage with his left hand. Right hand by Stafford. Howard ducking and weaving is doing the bombing. Stafford misses with a wild left hook. I think at this point it becomes very obvious that Roger Stafford could not stand there and slug with this kid. Halfway through the round. Roger Stafford in the red trim, the ESPN welterweight champion, has got a problem here. Kevin Howard is throwing some heavy artillery. We're in the fifth round. Sal, before we discuss it, it might have been a ploy on Roger Stafford's part to go back to the rope. But next time he goes back, I'd like everybody to take a look. He takes a deep breath. He's looking to rest now. It's no ploy. A right hand by Stafford. Stafford with another right hand. Howard comes right back. All right, great. Step back. It's like hitting a tree. Howard never moves. He has a great chin. Now I think I understand why he never lost the fight. Stafford was able to uh, weather that storm. Round six scheduled for 10. No knockdowns in this fight, no cuts so far. Sal, Kevin Howard has not fought in seven months. And for a guy who has not fought that long, he is really sharp. We gave the last round the fifth to Kevin Howard. And we've got him ahead by just a point. Both Randy and I with identical cards. We had uh, Stafford winning uh, the first round, Howard winning the second, Stafford winning the third, but Howard winning the last two. Just a tremendous right hand. Everything he had, it was the best punch, I think, of the fight. And Kevin Howard just stood there. That's got to be very discouraging. What a constitution. Kevin Howard is very economical with his punches, but he hits with authority. A left hook by Stafford, and Howard backed up a couple of steps. There's another one of the shots. The guy should be on the deck by now. He should be down. A right hand by Stafford. Roger Stafford, with about a minute to go, is showing us what an accomplished fighter must do when the other guy is a buzzsaw. We're going to get a timeout here. We have some loose gauze on the right glove of Kevin Howard. Roger says trick. In the pros, a lot of pros get away with pushing a guy up. George Foreman did it all the time. It's a hot night in Atlantic City, and this welterweight battle is really heating up. There's the bell. We'll be back. Anyway, Billy Jean King and Chris Everett Lloyd. Wimbledon highlights on ESPN. Round seven, scheduled for 10. Roger Stafford in the red trim, Kevin Howard in the blue trim. This is a great fight. That right hand was picked off by Stafford. Stafford digs a couple of left. Less than 30 seconds to go. If I have a criticism of Howard, his uh, lack of jabbing here tonight, I think, is cost him. You know, the pace has been so furious for six rounds. I don't blame these guys for taking a little bit of a break, a little coffee break, so to speak, in round seven. I think they're going to be right back at it again in round eight. Couple of jabs by Stafford. And that's all you need in a round like this to take the scoring. Well, there's a, a jab. Do it then. Do it then. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. God damn it. Do it then. That's right. I'm pulling it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. In the corner of Kevin Howard, his uh, handlers told him, you had your round in which to rest. Now take it to him. Forrest Ward is a trainer in there, telling him to take it to Stafford now. 
That last round was a breather for both. We're in the eighth, scheduled for 10. He got angry with him, and sometimes you got to do that with a fighter. He said, you got your second win. Now get out there and do it. Stafford still using his jab. In that last round, a difference of opinion between Randy and I. I gave it to Stafford. Uh, Randy had it even at five all. So I have Stafford winning the fight by a point. Randy has it even at 32 all. It could go either way. This is very, very close. Remember, in New Jersey, they score by the round system. The supplemental five points will be used in the event of a draw. Stafford just hit Howard with another right hand. It's like hitting, hitting that uh, barber pole that has all the stripes. To hit it, nothing happens. I don't think Stafford has ever landed so many punches and had a guy stand there like this. Like this. Here's where some really solid background in the amateurs comes in. Howard undefeated in like 20 fights. Stafford 89 and 9 record. Both these guys know what pain is all about, and right now they both feel it. Stafford now reaching down for a little extra is scoring here in this eighth round. Kevin Howard has just stopped punching. A left hook by Stafford, less than 30 seconds to go. A countering right by Kevin Howard. Howard a bit tired because a few moments ago you saw him take a quick breather. He dropped his hands, took a deep breath, and said, okay, let's go again. They're both tired, but neither one refuses to back up. Left hand by Howard, nothing on it. A left-right combination by Howard. My, oh, my, it was that round close. Kevin Howard listening to Forrest Ward, his trainer. Roger Stafford comes out to meet him in the center of the ring. Kevin Howard ran out of gas in the last round, and actually the round before. His corners, his corner men, once again, Slim Robinson and Forrest Ward are not happy. They say, you're letting up the pace. Get back in there. You're, you're letting it slip away. And I, I got to agree with him. Both Randy Gordon and I gave the last round to Roger Stafford, 5-4. So through eight, Randy has Stafford ahead by a point, 37-36. I have Stafford ahead by two points, 37-35. right combination by Howard. It was a left hook to the chin and then a right cross and both punches caught Roger Stafford. Stafford still is hanging in there throwing punches however so he's not hurt. Look at Stafford. Gets tattooed with the left right comes back and scores a lot of points. This is where a few more professional fights maybe it's 10 more on the part of Stafford is going to come in. He's been in some harder fights. He's been down this road before. Kevin Howard has not. Dramatically in the eighth round. Less than a minute to go here in the night. Stafford with a left hook and that setback. Howard one step. Stafford with a right cross stopping Howard. Now we're seeing Kevin Howard not moving, not going down, not shying away, but we're seeing him being stunned by Roger Stafford's punch. That's because he's on a, an empty tank now. He's running on fumes. Stafford with a right hand. Coming down the stretch of the ninth round. One more to go. Roger Stafford came to Atlantic City tonight with his bags full. He has been using all his punches against Kevin Howard. Mostly that jab. Magnificent comeback by Stafford, the world's welterweight champion. He said, I don't care which guy it is, we see why. Kevin Howard just jumped high into the air and landed on the canvas, made a lot of noise, but that's not how to win fights. You gotta do it with your hand. And now Howard knows he needs a knockout to win. Stafford's been piling up the points here in the late round. Howard is talking to Stafford, but again, that's not gonna do anything. He's gotta throw punches. Stafford has been keeping Howard away with that jab. And we had a criticism earlier of uh, Kevin Howard, it was, that he wasn't using his jab. And now he has to go for a knockout to win. Stafford with a countering right hand. What a pretty... Stafford now winging away on Kevin Howard. Roger Stafford has no job but boxing. He said, how can I work at another job when I'm going to be welterweight champ of the world? This is all I do, all I want to do. You got to go out. A 
right hand by Stafford. Stafford is not coasting. He's taking it to Kevin Howard. I believe he can lay back and win the fight, but no, he's going for a knockout. A right hand by Stafford. Howard with the right hand. Stafford with the left hook. Howard going for the knockout punch. Stafford is not staying away, though. Here's Stafford throwing left and right. A right hand by Stafford. Less than 30 seconds to go. What is in Howard's chin? A right hand by Stafford again. Roger Stafford is finishing with a flourish. 15 seconds to go. And this crowd is going to go wild at the bell. And it doesn't look like Kevin Howard can catch Roger Stafford. Showtime in Atlantic City. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoring as follows. Judge William Carroza scores it. Four rounds, Howard. Four rounds, Stafford. Two rounds, even. <laughs> Judge Milo Savage scores it. Five rounds, Stafford. Three rounds, Howard. Two rounds, even. Well, they got one round even. Referee Rudy Battle scores it. Five rounds, Stafford. Four rounds, Howard. One round even. The winner by majority decision, Richard Stafford. Stafford.